Hello everyone, let's take a look at a quick tip on how to simplify your design using shrink wrap. This is great for building product manufacturers looking to create a Revit family file, and it also works well for preparing your designs for an FEA study, or to improve performance by placing a simplified version in a larger overall assembly. We have two examples to look at. First, let's use this HVAC assembly. There are basically three steps in the shrink wrap feature for removing components, removing features, and saving the part file. We can begin by removing a bulk of the internal components by specifying a size. All the components below that value will be removed. We can then use the view options to preview the parts that will be included or excluded in the final part. This helps when your specified size removed a part that you intended to keep. We will continue to select other components that are not necessary for BIM models or simulation. Building designers, for example, are more interested in lightweight geometry that is enriched with critical product data like description, model number, and connections for piping and electrical. Speaking of pipe connectors, we have one other pipe that we want to keep for reference. Next, we have small feature removal. In this case, we're going to remove all the holes and fillets. And that's it. If there are holes or fillets that you wish to keep, you can either specify a size limit or manually select those features in the graphics view. We'll use that option in the next model. Now we're ready to save the assembly as a part. There are several options for bill of material structure and your preference for body style. We'll stick with the default settings. In about one minute, your simplified model is ready. Next, let's take a look at this mixer. It's a smaller example. Once again, we're going to use shrink wrap to remove some of the smaller or internal components in the design. Everything below 70 millimeters and the parts we select. In the Feature tab, we will once again remove all the holes, fillets, and chamfers, but there still may be some that we want to keep. As I mentioned earlier, specify a size for each feature type, or manually choose those features from the graphics view. Let's include these two holes so they can be used as a reference for the piping inlets. If you are a building product manufacturer, find out more by turning on BIM Content in the Environments tab. Finally, save the model as a simplified part. And don't forget that these simplified models maintain an associative link back to the original assembly. Any changes that are made will reflect in the final part. Thanks for watching.